You guys ready? We are taking a trip today to the North Carolina Eastuarium, which I guess is like an aquarium for uh, like the rivers and channels and stuff like that. So I guess there's like some crabs and fish and some exhibits there. So I'm taking the kids, Ew. we're gonna head out there. That is our day today. Yeah. Here we are. Coming up into Washington, North Carolina. Yep. There's a boat. Boats. Boat. It is boats. That's cool. What's the fish doing? He's walking. 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 I think he's swimming. I think fish swim usually. They're so huge. What are they though? But they're crocodiles. Oh, Cool. Susie, you want to see? Mm -mm. Hey, hey. Whoa, <laughs> look at him, dude. It's okay. No. He's in glass, buddy. He can't. It's okay, baby. Look, it's okay. No. Look, you see him? What? Nothing's better than a cold brew latte. What's up guys? So here we are, we're at the storage unit right here. Gonna get all this stuff out and hopefully get to the paddle board. Cause me and my son, Isaiah, can you say hey? Hey. Me and Isaiah are gonna go paddle boarding on the Tar River. Here we go, you! We are going paddle boarding and we're going, and I'm going to play with my gun and we're going, and daddy's going to paddle and I'm going to go in a car. 
Yeah, so Isaiah is over here doing my vlog for me. But that's what we're doing. We're in Grandpa's old car. Uh, my dad lent me his wagon because my car is currently broken. We got the paddleboard strapped on top and we're heading down to the river. Here we go. Yo. All right, so this week, I'm gonna actually get to surf this week. So I'm out here at the storage unit, getting the boards ready. Uh, I'm gonna load up my new ride. New! The brand new, well, not brand new. The used Kia minivan. Since my car was unable to be repaired without extensive money, we got a new one. So we've got the fun mobile in van form. Actually works out great. I can uh, load in surfboards, slide right in, right down the middle. I've got the roof racks in case I take buddies, but uh, for just one or two boards, you can just slide them right in. So I'm gonna get all this out of here and just get the board in there, wash it off a little bit, put on my new GoPro mount on the front of the board and we are going surfing tomorrow morning and by we i mean me hopefully i'll meet somebody out there on surfing. the water you want to go surfing yes hmm i don't know if we can do that tomorrow maybe we'll do it another day with you okay i'll go out there and we can do it together uh next week Does sound like a plan yeah next week we can do that okay all right this time it's just gonna be me Next time, we'll do a vlog with me and Isaiah and me showing him how to surf, so that'd be fun too, but yay for surfing. It's back in the vlog. That's what this vlog is supposed to be about, so here we go. Yo! All right, YouTube family, what's up? It is 3.43 in the morning on a Thursday, and finally, 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 I'm going surfing this week. Just spilled coffee on the floor in the van that we just got. So, I'm gonna stop at the office and get some paper towels, and then we'll be on the road to Riceville Beach today. I'm uh, gonna go to Johnny Mercer's Pier. Also gonna meet up with my buddy Dave Simmons, who also has a YouTube channel. Check him out. Uh, we never met, we've just met on the internet, but we're gonna probably meet in person for the first time today so it's exciting so hopefully we'll be able to connect last time we actually tried to meet in person uh, that was the time I lost my GoPro I took my friend Luke I was teaching him and then we were out there and we just uh, never never saw each other uh, today we have a, a meeting location and a uh, an idea of what each other looks like so yeah gonna go surf hang out with Dave Catch some waves. Got the new GoPro, the new mount. Should be a good, good day. It's a good day for vlogging and surfing is back, baby. Yeah! The Fun Mobile version two. Space for a surfboard without putting it on the roof. Oh, okay, I got the coffee cleaned up. Now the Fun Mobile smells like coffee now. That's all right. Got me some, uh, some cold brew this morning. 
uh, on these like summer mornings, it's nice to just have some cold brew. <sighs> With some Italian sweet cream, creamer in it, it is perfection. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup.
finally met Dave Simmons from YouTube. Surfed with him for a little bit. Although I had the camera on the front of the board, so you probably didn't see much of Dave. Uh, I should have worn a mouth mount, but I'm gonna switch to the mouth mount now. I get some waves from first person perspective. Phew. Nice. Yeah. So what do you do with that? You, that you use the hand thing to steer, kind of. Okay. Crazy, dude. It is 9.12 in the morning. So we left just in time to not get a parking ticket. And got a good three hours in surfing. Met up with my new friend Dave from YouTube. Check his channel out, Dave Simmons. Overall, it was a good day. Uh, I'm gonna probably stop, get a little bit of breakfast and drive back two hours to where I live. Um, you know, it seems kind of crazy to drive two hours to surf in the morning and then two hours back and go to work, but, uh, you know, I'm waking up at 4 a.m. or 3.30, rather, when I do this. and um, Yeah, I mean, I guess definitely seems crazy but you know once a week or roughly once a week I just love it it's a really good exercise and I feel great afterwards um, get to do these vlogs which is fun and you know the, the coolest thing about about surfing is uh, you get to meet new people and learn new things um, you know, pretty much like the, the way I've learned to surf has been, I went out by myself a few times, like maybe six times by myself with very, very little success. Um, and it's because I was going out by myself, you know, uh, I wasn't asking anyone for help. I wasn't trying to meet people. I wasn't trying to socialize or get pointers from anyone, you know? So, after going by myself, thinking I could just surf from just like watching some YouTube videos and whatnot, um, I realized that I, I learned the techniques, but I, I didn't learn how to actually look at what waves to catch. And uh, I think the first time I went out, 
there's a guy out there and the first time I you know just started talking to someone he started talking to me and uh, started sharing each other's story and uh, he saw that I was having a little bit of trouble uh, he was like hey man uh, so here's where you want to be you know you want to position yourself here and you see that wave right there that's what it's gonna do and he just he showed me a lot and then you know the time time after that that I went out um, uh, there was another guy an older guy who uh, gave me some tips about about like board positioning and stuff and then even today Dave you know he's been surfing two years which is you know 16 to 17 months longer than I have and uh, he was giving me some some good tips too so I think uh, I've learned that it's a lot more enjoyable and it's worth it to drive two hours at 4 a.m. to get there at sunrise to just meet people, you know, um, and just to get to know them, hear their story, hear where they where they came from, what got them into surfing, and and then share yours. And um, you know, that's uh, as much as the feeling of catching a wave and the surfing and stuff is fun. It's just as fun to meet really cool interesting people and to hear what they're about and to pick up cool surf tips so that was fun you know Dave I met him on YouTube uh, he followed my channel I was like hey man we should meet up sometime we did and um, you just got to put yourself out there and meet people and who knows um, who knows the impact you can have on them or the impact they can have on you and uh, it's good to just have conversations with people. So that's what I've been trying to do. I'm a little bit introverted naturally, but I've been forcing myself when I'm out surfing to just engage with people. And um, nine times out of 10, people won't uh, disengage. <laughs> They'll talk back to you. So it's been fun. It was a good day. I've got a two hour drive ahead of me and I enjoy my two hour drives because it, once a week it gives me two hours to uh, process and think and sort of reflect on the week, think about how I can grow and um, how I can serve my family better and how I can love my wife and my kids better. And, you know, I can listen to podcasts, listen to music, sometimes just zone out and it's great. I need that time and it helps me really just reflect. I love it. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm going to be in deep thought for two hours. After I crush a chicken biscuit from McDonald's. McDonald's has chicken biscuits now. This is not a sponsored ad. But McDonald's has chicken biscuits for breakfast. And while they are not quite as good as Chick-fil-A, they are pretty, pretty delicious. So I'm about to get down on a chicken biscuit, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. About to get down. Chicken biscuit, iced tea, non-sweet, even though I'm in the south. Keeps the calories down. Trying to lose some weight. Got that dad bod. That's like two meals worth of calories, so that'll probably be enough for uh, for the rest of my day until dinner time. Hello, can I get a uh, chicken biscuit, a medium coffee with two creams? 600 calories, the chicken biscuit? is 600 calories gosh it's insane yeah so like i said i'll be good till dinner time i believe i might get a little a little snacky snack a granola bar or something later on for lunch but i'm learning that what i eat directly affects how much i weigh about to get it you yeah. there it is the mcdonald's chicken biscuit Oh, oh, it's so good. Oh, I can feel the calories being replenished, the nutrients in my body. Hmm, you know, that's something no one tells you. On the YouTube surf videos, like how to surf and stuff. 
No one tells you to bring food. No one tells you how hungry you're gonna get surfing. I get so hungry. McDonald's chicken biscuit. Man, it was a pretty good day today. Um, I definitely caught quite a few waves, so that was exciting. Uh, one thing that was a little bit of a snag was the battery life on this on this little um, sort of fake GoPro that I was using today is not great and it came with two batteries and I fully charged both of them but um, the first one lasted like probably a solid hour which which was fine and then when I put the second one in I think maybe it lasted 20 minutes so maybe there was a problem in charging or it just I don't know it was weird make sure if you like these videos for whatever reason make sure to give this one a like a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified when new videos come out I'm gonna try to do these every week um, last week I, I dropped two because one didn't even have any surfing in it um, but you know I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do these every week if I can there's more to come more vlogs to come soon so like subscribe and we'll see you guys next week Doop.